welcome back to Let's Get On With It, the Urquan Masters. Last video, which was rather lengthy, involved me continuing to explore the southwestern uh, quadrant, the southwestern part of our quadrant, and we met the Pekunk. That was the primary feature of last video. And we conversed with the Pekunk. A lot. Then we came back here to Seoul and discovered that, uh, there's some sort of hyperwave broadcast coming from the Rigel Star System. But before we go to investigate any of that, let's outfit our starship. Because we've gotten some additional RUs here. Now naturally, we do need to refuel. Like so. We really need to refuel. We expended around, what, 100 fuel units total during that trek? Something like that? I've already forgotten. Not important. So having additional fuel will definitely help, and we'll have to uh, purchase more crew as well. Although we didn't lose that many. Now, uh, alongside that, we're also going to take the time to purchase another ion bolt gun, I think. No, my flagship really shouldn't need to fight. I've got the Kung Fury, Furies, Spathy Looters, and the Earthling Cruiser. Everything should be fine. Well then, what do I purchase? Oh my science! We can buy another fuel tank, and two more storage bays? There we go, that sounds good to me. And stock up on even more fuel leaving us with a lot of RUs to spare. Now, we will burn through RUs in the future. We will, we will. But, uh, it's nice to have a lovely stockpile. Let's go ahead and exit the menu and head to the shipyard, where we can uh, restock up on crew. We didn't lose that many lives, which is nice. And we can also take the time to build more Earthling cruisers, should we so choose, but I'm going... I'm not going to. I'm not going to. And with that in mind... We're going to break it down, and exit the menu, and depart Starbase. Save the game. We'll save it in this slot. And... Um... Star map. Because we need to get to the Rigel star system, which is there. But I reckon along the way, we can, you know, take the time to explore a few star systems. Alpha Wolf, Beta Wolf, and maybe we'll head up to visit the Spothy. Or maybe we won't. Maybe I got an idea. We'll go to Rigel, and we'll curve around into Ilroth territory. Oh my. I didn't practice any combat against the Ilroth. This is probably an ill-advised decision. Well, I make those all the time. Well, let's watch the Starlock here putter out. Put, 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 whee! Fly past the sun on our way out of the solar system. Although we could be going a little bit faster here, I'm just saying. We could be traveling at a, you know, greater urgency. <laughs> Rigel, here we come. Let's see what all the fuss is all about. Music in this game is so awesome. Alright. What's all the fuss about here, folks? Hello? Hello? Anybody home? This is a gas giant, isn't it? It is. Okay. Ali Ali Oxen Free Christopher Columbus Christopher Columbus No No, nobody home Nobody home Maybe there's somebody home here Maybe I totally misread what uh the Starbase Commander wrote. Hello, purple world filled with purple things. Eh, I guess we'll land on you. Why not? Let's pilfer your booty. <laughs> I 
I guess I could have gotten more storage bays if I wasn't going to buy more iron cannons. It's not like I can't put more storage bays in the proposed weapon slot. You know, it's actually... I really should have done that. Ah. No, I won't reload. I'm not going to care enough to reload. That would be less authentic. We're, we're, we're keeping... Whoa! Hello? Who are you? You ninja out of nowhere. Attention, Starship. We are the Sockpot Pit. Make no hostile action. We come in peace and with goodwill. But if you make one false move, you're vapor. Don't worry. My companion is just a bit nervous. No, I'm not. And argumentative. No, I'm not. We are a scout vessel dispatched from our home world. We have traveled far through hostile, uncharted space to find you. We hail from the Green Dwarf Star at coordinate Zerfar Gurna. Aha! Bahoy Koi! No, you idiot! In their coordinate system. Oh, uh, <clears throat> coordinates 400.0 by 543.7. 400.0 by 543.7. Yes, the Zonk Thought Pick. Another of the alien races. Well, I don't think you can count this as one race. Let's just introduce ourselves. We are the new alliance of Free Star's flagship, Starlock from Earth. What are your intentions? Hooray! Then we finally found our saviors! Maybe. At last, our search is over. It is just as the great crystal ones promised. They look sneaky. I think they're lying. Quiet, fool. Can't you see our nightmare is over? This ship is from the great crystal ones' fable alliance. The alliance of three stars. Maybe. Now, the Great Crystal One, if I recall correctly, refers to the Jinjesu, um, who are, well, they've currently been defeated and they're under their own slave shield, their home world of Procyon. But, uh, before we go on, can you tell us more about your species? In our ancient past, four species evolved intelligence on our home world. Simultaneously, they were the Zark, the Thought, the Pit, and the Zabrank. We three, the Zark, Thought, and Pit, evolved in such a way as to acquire sustenance from many sources. From airborne zooplankton, from solar and ambient energies, and from rocky fungal clingers. Our favorite. The Zabranki also consumed a variety of foods, namely the Zark, the Thought, and the Pit. To survive the predations of the Zabranki, we banded together, annihilated the Zabranki, and formed the cooperative union you now encounter. We are a relatively peaceful group of species. Unless we're angry. So, we find ourselves in need of help. We only need a little because of our desperate situation. Desperate is too strong a word. I think trouble seems more like it. Our planets are under attack from an invading horde. We do not know who they are or why they are here. We are being blown to bits. Fleets of alien ships appear out of nowhere, then unleash terrible destructive energy. Fortunately, they release these energies on each other. Unfortunately, they favor combat near strong gravity wells. Their stray shots regularly strike the surface of our planet, often with tragic results. Fortunately, they have never found our homeworld, only our colony planets. Unfortunately, all of our colonies have perished as a consequence. Hey, space is a tough place where wimps eat flaming plasma death. Who is attacking you? What do they look like? Yes, yes, it's all very interesting, but now we are going to attack you. We want to help. What can we do? You have given us valuable information. Goodbye. Who is attacking you? What do they look like? 
Some of the vessels are huge green battleships, Your which can wave after wave of small fighters. The other ships are black as space, and their hulls are carved with strange alien lighting. Don't know anything In about the combat, them. The two ships seem evenly matched. One fires blasts of fusion energy, while the other launches spinning projectiles. Oh my. We want to help you, Zock Thought Pick. What can we do? These are the words we have prayed for. Hey, this trip's not a waste after all. More than anything, we seek an ally to help us survive in this hostile universe. We're having some problems of that general nature. But we are only emissaries. You must meet with our leaders. They are wiser, more powerful beings. They look just like us, though. Fly to the star called Alpha Tucane. The planet closest to the sun is our home. And if possible, hurry! Whew. 400 points. Uh, 400 and 543.7. That's pretty far away, folks. Just so you know. It's pretty far away. But I suppose I should visit them at some point or another. But first, let's go ahead and investigate this dust world full of dust. And find nothing. So, although we have not yet encountered any Urquan, uh, uh, dreadnoughts, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that they're huge green ships. I mean, that's after all what, uh, the humans fought in, uh, Star Control 1. Which you all should have played, obviously. <laughs> so you all should know what they look like. As for those black ships, we don't know anything about those yet, but we will eventually come to learn about them. Also, that was an incredible juke. I... Uh, I'll pick that up. For now. But I may drop it at any given time. For the record. We'll say that the Pekunk are going to have it, and then I won't feel guilty about dropping it. Hooray! Let's leave. And visit this one. I've already visited this one, haven't I? Yes, I've already visited this one. I, okay, in retrospect, those aren't the light blue ones. They just looked that way. And yet, I left the planet anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oops. Uh, what I meant to do, the right action was to dispatch here and pick up some of these, although I really guess I couldn't have been asked. I'm not quite sure whether this was worth the fuel. No, it wasn't worth the fuel. Why did I do that? Oh, well, it was only point three fuel. I suppose it was worth the fuel. Eh. Let's just leave. I would have reloaded, probably, if I had actually made a recent save. As opposed to a save all the way back in Seoul. Now, let's go ahead and explore this one. An infrared world filled with... Nothing. And, over here, we have... A dust world filled with... I'm not falling for this one again. Alright, let's go ahead and leave the star system. And I... Oh, we have another planet, though. I just have no idea where that is. I'm sure... Yeah, I think I explored that already. Even if I haven't, I'm sure it's not worth it. So, yeah. The Zokvot pick are all the way over here. Yeah. <laughs> 400 by 543.7. That's a serious trip there, folks. Very serious. I do not have the urge right now to go there and say hello. I guess I should eventually. I should probably go form the Alliance. I can explore down here later. Mm, damn it. If 
fine. I talked myself into it. Let's go this way. I have enough fuel. Well, I guess I should make sure of that. Now, fuel to get all the way here from where I am is... Let's say we're gonna need about... 90 fuel units for uh, the trip there and back. We'll say we'll need 45 unit fuel units to get from there to Seoul. So by the time I get there, if I don't have all that fuel by then, it'll be a problem. Okay, so in the meantime, let's just go around and exploring some worlds, I guess. Although, you know, I'm not gonna be able to... Uh, uh, I need to get more star base. I need to get more modules on my precursor ship if I'm going to explore all these planets. The trick is to, you know, find planets that are only worth your time. But, uh... Eh. Uh, ooh! The tectonics on this planet, though... Mm, should I load and just go back to Sol? Yeah... Yeah, I changed my mind. Let's not go this way. Uh, of course, it takes me back to here. I I don't think this, these planets had anything. No, I don't think I missed out on anything. Sorry about that, folks. I should have saved sooner. My sincerest apologies. But no, I don't think I'm going to go visit the Sockfot Pig just yet, or the Spathe. Let's go ahead and stay closer to home. By closer to home, I mean closer to the Ilroth. Hooray! Yeah, so let's head this way. And eventually, you know, once we have more fuel uh, pods and maybe uh, an upgrade or two from the Melnorm, eh? We'll consider heading off in that direction. There's no extreme urgency to head all the way out there right now. I don't think, anyway. Not in my opinion. The important thing is that we establish contact with that scout. I think. And that makes all the difference. Fuck. Beta Wolf, do you have anything valuable for me, or was this a waste of my time? You cyanic world, and oh boy. It was a waste. Alas, Babylon. Damn it. You'd think if I could remember so many wonderful facts about this game, I'd remember things such as Beta Wolf not being a valuable expenditure of my time. Alpha Wolf, probably not gonna be that either, but for the sake of being intrepid explorers or whatever, let's go ahead and explore that. Hello? Oh boy, we have a few planets here. Let's go to this blue one first, which is probably a gas giant and has no satellites. Hello, gas giant. Goodbye, gas giant. I mapped you out, yay! I did it. Loisimos. We went and explored the mighty gas giant. Yeah, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Iodine World contains... Eh. 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 Sure. Let's go ahead and land. Why not, he said, chuckling to himself, for the answer was obvious. It's a trap! <laughs> pick up some iodine. Not the most valuable things to pick up there, but they're being picked up. And I don't see the need to fall to, to land on this planet again, so I'm just going to pick up that. And I'm going to leave. That was Planet 3. You can tell because there's a display there telling you what planet it was. Oh my. This is another gas giant. 
It is. And it's pink. Move. Ish. Whatever. I scanned it. There. I tried. What do you have for me, noble world? Perhaps noble gases? I'm down with that. Although, again, these uh, noble worlds do not possess a lot of quantities of these, like high quantities. Which is a shame, because, you know, they're more valuable than some other things that you can pick up. I need more noble gases. Of course, if this planet had exotic minerals instead, or gases, or spherical packages, whatever, I wouldn't complain about that. Give me some Dezo crystals or what have you. How much cargo space do I have? Eh, a reasonable amount. Reasonable amount. Okay. Move over here to this one. A purple world filled with purple. That's cool. Suppose we'll land on this one as well, since we're here. Even though it's hard for me to see earthquakes on some of these surfaces. Ah, here we go. <laughs> yes, truth be told, uh, making those noises actually does help with the dodging process. <laughs> I should have bought more storage bays, though. Eh. I mean, I had all the RUs to spare. Eh. I get over it. Let's say that it slipped my brain. There we go. Because it did! The captain can't be perfect on everything and nobody told me! Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I did it. Contrary to popular belief, I can actually land. I'll actually go to the world and you were totally worth my time super dense world I think I should uh, try to uh, recognize colors of planets and determine how valuable they would actually be <laughs> instead of just blindly flying to all of them and hoping for the best perhaps that would be the smart thing to do that's not me I learned through trial by error, except that I'm not actually learning. Oh my! This could be a valuable expenditure of my time right here. I do need to go back to the Mel Norme eventually. Oh boy! We have lots of dangerous creatures, which means lots of valuable biological unit things. I was caught between a rock and a hard place there with an earthquake happening behind me and that thing madly approaching me. Because it was mad. Fifteen shots. Ow! I wasn't paying attention. That's what I get. Then we have these things here. Snack food. Ooh, they give a, they give a lot of data. Uh-oh. Mad Hopper has emerged from the shadows to do battle with me. Another one has emerged from the shadows. <laughs> okay. I will be landing multiple times on this planet. Where is that guy partially shot? Well, the world may never know now. Four, five, six, seven. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm much cooler with these, uh, these slow guys. <laughs> Would much rather face them than the super quick ones. Not gonna lie. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy and then head back to the ship. Or stun him to death. Alright, we're full up. Now, let us save the game just in case and land once more by this conveniently located mineral deposit of vanadium or whatever 
I'm pew pewing you. Ow! There I go. I blink, and half of my crew's gone. Over half. Son of a bitch. At least you died. Vengeance! Uh oh. King Lysandus in here. Vengeance! Stop juking my shots! I don't care if I'm poorly aiming them, you're still juking them. Four, five. Alright, and finally, these guys usually give a lot of data. And they're harmless, and that was the one I mostly shot of. Okay! What a lovely haul from that planet. About the 176 biological data unit things. And at a conversion rate of one of those for two credits, that's 300-ish credits. Which means I can buy two technological upgrades. Good. Yes, the technology... Technological secrets are 150 credits per, whereas uh, information about the universe or what have you is 75 per, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and explore this one now. This is a super dense world again. Damn, no biological data. Let's just, uh... 1.4 units of fuel? Eh. I should be able to make up the cost. But only just. Ooh oh. <laughs> I lost my position there. Alright, okay, there we go. That was maybe worth my time. Regardless, I have it now. But my time has been expended. We can't... There's no redos. Never mind the fact that I have a save load feature. There's no redo. No take back seas. 1.1, and this place has more deposits, so this should also be... I mean, this should give me my fuel back. 13. There's another 10. Yeah. The haul was worth it. It was worth it. Let's go ahead and pick up that final deposit. Okay. Now, to you. What glorious secrets do you have for me, Uria World? Probably nothing. Oh no, you have something. Cool. I'm not a fan of the tectonics, but there aren't going to be any death bolts or gouts of fire. So as long as I'm actually able to kill these biological life forms without them madly flying towards me... We should be okay," he said, chuckling to himself, knowing that would not be true. And we have some formaldehyde, so we can preserve their dead carcasses. Uh, we can also preserve my dead carcass. Mm. Gotta admit, the data on these guys, though, is not so high. There are a lot of earthquakes on this planet, or satellite thing. Whew. hard to keep track. I can't exactly look at my map because I'm too busy uh, looking for earthquakes. How about you guys on the internet? You uh, you let me know where I'm supposed to turn, okay? Like, there's the biological life form right there! I, I, I'm driving. If I can have, like, a navigator. Turn left here. <laughs> you drove me into an earthquake! <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> hey. On. We got this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> wow, I can't really say the biological data was, you know, worth losing all of that crew. Oh, you get back here. Hey! 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 Oh my god, I'm never gonna catch him. They're like one-shot kills, too. Come on! I'm gonna get all my crew killed just for you. <laughs> Let's 
Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Well, that was like, what, 16 biological unit things? Nah. 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 Mistakes were made. The game needs to be more exciting, so I have to sacrifice my crew. Gotta stop being a little Nancy boy and loading after practically everything that happens to me. I did not mean to visit this planet. We are done. We are done here. I think. Yet I am flying the wrong way to flee this star map. Okay. So, the next place we're going to visit on the hit list is Beta Voltanis. This will take us into the treacherous Ilras space. Hopefully we won't uh, be forced to fight any of them. I uh, I think the Pekunk Fury is my best shot at killing one of them, but I don't... I haven't, like, flown around with the ship since the well, last time I played this game, which was a long time ago. So I don't remember how to use it, so I'd have to... Hello! How are you doing today, Mr. Radioactive World? I am super. Thanks for asking. Ah. I highly approve of this planet. I wish it and I could be friends. Frenzies. And we could frolic around in the flower fields together. The radioactive flower fields and... We could play hopscotch together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah! Truly, we could have the best of times. And I only have to use 1.1 fuel units in exchange for these radioactives? Beta Voltanus Planet 1! You have it going on! Kind of like Stacy's mom. Cultural reference! If you don't get that one, uh... Well... I, actually, I can't blame you if you don't get that one. That one's a few years old. <laughs> and by few, it all blends together. Okay, what other things does Beta Voltanus Planet 1 have for me? Now, I'm not going to get too excited. There's some lightning. Um, this could be a death trap, but I'm going to land far away from everything so I can I can observe the life forms in action and get shot to death by lightning. Apparently, it's not the best position to shoot you, but that is. Oh my! Stupid lightning bolts. Stop shooting my ship! <laughs> I said stop! That is the antithesis of stopping. You guys aren't doing it right. The game is aware of this, and it's like, eh, I'm good with it. Now, I could have bored from the planet, and, you know, not get a full load of anything. Eh, but it's too late. <laughs> Let's try that one again, folks. I will pilfer the secrets of this planet. Even if I have to do it off screen. Off camera, rather. I will do that. Lightning, you will not thwart me forever. It's like, no, but I'll thwart you now. Maybe the recording software is attracting the lightning. Surely that's the problem. <laughs> Surely it couldn't be anything else. It would also help if I actually possessed better aim. You know, that's a huge spear there that I'm shooting. And wow. You know, I used to have crew, folks. I used to have crew. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just so stubborn, I'm like, No! I am not flying back to my ship with only this. No! That's lame and a waste of fuel. And the game's like, okay, then fine. So, I'll be right back. Whew. 
You may notice that a few more lives, a uh, <laughs> few lives are missing, but I did clear off the planet. And those uh, little green guys that were running about gave a massive amount of biological data units. The entire uh, trip expenditure of crew is definitely worth it. Because now, woohoo, I have almost 400 biological unit things, which means I can buy more upgrades. And uh, among those upgrades will be upgrades for the lander, which means that hopefully I'll have to off-stream less of that. It didn't take too long, though. As it turns out, the recording software does attract massive lightning bolts. <laughs> I figured that out. Although there was an instance where I landed on the planet and a, a lightning bolt immediately came down and killed all 12 of my crew. And I'm like, that's not even fair. <laughs> uh, normally I on-screen stuff like that, but... Eh, I guess I'm feeling jitters. Mainly since this game is so long. And these worlds, these Uria worlds, or whatever, horrible. Uh, maybe you people can educate me on the meaning of that through the power of Google or Wikipedia, like you did with the Selenic worlds. But they have a tendency to, uh, possess life. It's gonna be another dangerous world for me to land on, though, considering its tectonics. These guys aren't that valuable. And by tectonics, I actually meant the lightning bolts. Well, Weather 3 would be more dangerous than the tectonic class 7. I'm just saying. Look at that. Look at that! <laughs> Which is more dangerous, weather class 3 or tectonics class 7? Good question! I'm gonna have to go with the weather class 3. Unless you spawn on an earthquake. See, now the... Here comes the lightning! Here comes the lightning to finish me off. I don't think this planet's worth my time, folks. I'm I'm not gonna even bother. Not 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 for all the biological data units. Screw it. Those guys aren't worth enough for that to be worth my while. There is enough bio units in the entire quadrant of the galaxy to take care of all of your purchasing needs in this game. So, yeah, that planet's definitely not worth my time. Okay, let's go ahead and leave Beta Volantis Planet 1. Okay, there wasn't another planet in the system. That's good to know. In that case, let's go ahead and navigate to zoom down here. We're next heading to Gamma Volantis. All right, folks, and hopefully we can continue to avoid the Ilroth. Remind me of Kilrothy and Bullrothy, but are definitely not either. Go ahead and explore this one first. Gas Giant. What do you have for me here on this treasure world full of treasure? Could you possibly have treasure for me? <laughs> You know, I approve of that. Also, this video has gone on for a while, man. I'm just getting so absorbed into the game. Although this is pretty much an exploration video anyway. Except for our little bit there that we did with the Zok Fart Pick. I definitely made the right decision, though, to explore these worlds. Definitely made the right decision. I regret nothing. Screw making alliances. <laughs> Collect gold now. Save that one for my third landing, as it's a bigger sphere. And I mean, it's not dangerous to be on at all. It looks dangerous. You know, it's like, oh man, this place looks terrible. And then you land on the planet, it's glorious. What I want to know is, how do all these planets still have their minerals and resources? If there's all these races around, how, why haven't they mined it out yet? I don't know. Try not to think too hard about that. Eh, I guess we'll go ahead and conclude the video here. Coming back next time on Let's Get On With It, the Urquan Masters. More exploration, more bounty, more crew death. <laughs>